I S U P K. Islam DC with the Israelite School of Universal and Practical Knowledge. We're out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. We're not affiliated, associated with any other Israelite group on the face of the planet. If it doesn't say I should be king on the commanding journey, Yohanna is not of the truth, okay? And we're gonna get into something today, man, because I know there's a lot of Christians, they say, yo, they children of God, okay? Let's find out if you're a children of God, a child of God, or if you're a child of Satan, okay? Let's find out. Now, there's certain things you gotta do to be a child of God, okay? There's certain things you gotta do. First of all, you gotta be born of the seed of Jacob, okay? Or Israel, okay? All right? But let's see if you're the seed of Jacob, or let's see if you're the son of the Most High, let's see if you um a, a child of, of, of Satan, okay? Give me, um, give me our first John 3 and 10. You understand? This Bible is true, man, okay? Well, I know it's a lot of Christians say they follow the Bible, but re in reality, they don't, okay? Okay? They pushing the homosexuality like it's nothing. They agreeing with it like it's nothing. They saying, oh, let them live their life. They ain't bothering nobody. But that's a lie. The Most High said, yo, you can't be a homosexual, okay? The Most High said you can't, you can't be a woman or a lesbian or whatever. That, a woman sleeping with another woman, okay? Let's find out if you follow those things because that's the doctrine of Satan, okay? We're gonna find out right here. Read, got it? First John 3 and 10, read. First John chapter 3, verse 10. And this, the children of God are manifest. And this, and this, the children of God is manifested, right? We're gonna find out how the children of God is manifested, okay? This is how they were formed, okay? Even, even if you're a, ch a child or you're an Israelite, right? You got to, you got to, there's certain things that you got to do to be a child of God. You just can't come up and say, oh, I'm a child of God and not keep one statute, law, and commandment. You understand me? You can't come out here and, and have on a uh, whore attire, okay? You can't come out here and be a lesbian. You can't come out here and be a homosexual. A man sleeping with another man, man. You're not a child of God when you do that. Read on, read. And the children of the devil and the children of the devil. We gonna show you how the children of the devil is manifested, man. All right? The children of God and the children of the devil. If you, like, you figure out which one of you and you'll figure out who you are, okay? You'll figure out who you are, because this Bible is true. If you say I don't believe in the Bible, then you automatically know you're a child of Satan, okay? You're a child of the devil, okay? Okay, read on. Whosoever doeth not righteousness, is not of God. Whoever not do righteousness is not of God. Now let's find out how you do righteousness with God, man. Skip me up the, skip me up the uh, verse six real quick. Read, read verse six. Read. First John chapter three and six. Whosoever abideth in Him sinneth not. Whoever abideth in the Most High sinneth not. Okay. How do you abide in the Most High? He gave us statute, laws, and, 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 and commandments, man that we, we're supposed to keep every day. And guess what, man? If you if you follow the statute, law, and commandments, you'll know how to treat your brother. You'll know how to deal with that sister. You understand what I'm saying? Right. We won't be out killing each other. We won't be trying to run game on each other. You understand? A brother won't have to leave his children. That's okay? right. That woman to get up under her husband and don't be loud mouth in the house. 
You understand me running a damn man out the house, okay? Because he don't want to damn fight you, right? Okay. Read. Whosoever sinneth have not seen him, neither known him. And he said, whoever sin do not know him or have not seen him, okay? So we gonna get this one question for you. Can anybody tell me what sin is? Can anybody tell me what sin is? Sin is the transgression of the law. That's right. Okay? Christians love to tell you that the law is done away with, man. The most high, and this is in the New Testament. Okay? Because I know Christians love to say, but 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 Christ came and did away with the Old Testament. Even though that's a lie, we still read in the New Testament. Christ never did away with the law. You gotta keep the law, man. You understand? Read. Verse 7. Little children, let no man deceive you. Do what? Let no man deceive you. And guess what, man? If you're in the Christian church, man, and you agree with homosexuality, man, okay, you, you agree with a woman laying down with a woman, or a man laying down with another man, man, guess what, man? You've been deceived, man, and America has deceived black Hispanics and Native American Indians, man. They done told you that, that yo, he, he really playing like he's your God, because he tell you what's right and what's wrong. Okay? And if you say, yo, listen, I don't agree with homosexuality, guess what he called you? He love to call you a homophobic. Because he's a, listen, listen, man, because he's a goddamn bully. Okay? Anybody don't agree with him, guess what? He mad with you and call you everything under the damn sun, right? But the moment, listen, but he's not agreeing with you. If you say, I don't agree with that, then he, he we ain't agree, listen, when, when we say we, in a, we don't agree with what he's doing, we in agreements with the most high. And the white man or anybody that's a homosexual or agrees with that is not in agreement with the most high. That's right. You're not in agreement with the, with the most high, man. Right. Okay? And the white man pushes that, man. The Christian church pushes it, man. You understand me? That's the reason why a lot of men, a lot of real men, don't damn go to church on Sundays, man. Because a, a real black man don't want to hear a bunch of damn lies. You understand? A real man want to hear the truth. That's right. Okay? And that's what our black women need to hear. Our black women need to hear the truth, okay? That's and right. guess what? Maybe we'll have families together, okay? Okay? Read on. Read. Verse 8. He that committeth sin. He that committeth sin. Read. Is of the devil. Is of the devil, man. Being a homosexual is of the devil. That's right. Okay? You agreeing with it. If you agree with it, then you of the damn devil too. That's right. You understand me? Nobody saying go and do nothing. Nobody saying pick something up and hit somebody with it. That's against the law too. For you to go hit somebody just because he's homosexual. You understand me, man? Right? Don't go out there and hit a homosexual, man. But if you agree with being a homosexual, man, guess what? You of the damn devil. Read that again. He that committed sin is of the devil. And he committed sin is of the devil, man, okay? Let me let me tell you how much of a devil being a homosexual is, right? They supposedly supposed to be having a march this weekend, right? In New York, right? And they call it the gay Sabbath. The gay Sabbath. If that ain't playing with the most high, you out your damn mind if you don't think so, man. Okay? The most high gonna do something real vicious to them damn homosexuals talking about a gay Sabbath. What the hell is a gay Sabbath? You got your own damn Sabbath now? You don't create a damn Sabbath? That shows you how much of a damn bully the damn uh, the damn homosexuals are, man. And let me tell you something. That's a that's a damn white man's uh, thing, man. Right. That's 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 what white that's how white people roll, man. But guess what, black man, when you get in it, guess what? You get destroyed, man. The white man been a homosexual since the damn Greeks, okay? Over two thousand, over three thousand years ago, man. The white man been a homosexual. But guess who's dying from AIDS? Guess who died from AIDS more than anybody? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. Right. Because we forsook these laws that the Most High said we had to go by. And one of the laws is don't be a homosexual, okay? Right. You can't be a homosexual and say you of the Most High. And we're going to pull the law. We're going to pull the law for you and show that we not just coming out of our own mouth or what we think, man, okay? We're against anything the Most High is against, That's right. okay? Okay? We not, listen, and you can't come up and say, 
oh, these guys are violent because we, we speak not against homosexuality. Or you can't come up and say he homophobic because I don't think none of these brothers up here scared of the damn homosexual. I don't think not, but we're not going to fight you unless you do something to us, okay? We can come out and speak about it, but homosexuals don't even want you to speak out about it because he know how damn wrong it is, man. Right. Okay? Give me a drop down and give me um, give me uh, 1 John 2 and 4, man. Give me 1 John 2 and 4, all right? We come out here every every Friday, Lord allow, man, to teach our people the truth about the Bible, okay? We ain't gonna give you a song and a dance, That's okay? Right. We out here to help save souls, man, okay? We out here to help brothers, man, get in this truth, man, change their life and become a, a real man, okay? That's what we out here to do. We out here to help change sisters' lives too, man, okay? We out here to change everybody's life if you on this sign right here. If you a black, Hispanic, or Native American Indian man, we out here to help you, man. You understand me, man? Ain't no separation, ain't no separation between blacks and Hispanics. Get that out your damn mind, man, okay? You going through the same thing in America the white man putting you through, okay? You you subject to every damn abominable thing the white man say you gotta you gotta abide by or go by, man. You understand me, man? Right? He don't even want you to talk about homosexuals, man. But then he gonna have a damn gay pride in front of everybody. My son and my daughter gotta gotta I gotta answer them. Why is a man hugging and kissing on another man? Kissing right. another man in the mouth. Right. You understand? Why two, I gotta tell my daughter, why two women kissing, kissing each other in the damn mouth? Right. I shouldn't have to tell that to my daughter. I shouldn't have to teach that. Let me tell you how wicked this world is, right? They tell you if you teach them against it, man, like in California, they trying to come up with a law where you can't teach your kids not to be homosexual. They trying to talk about you born with it. That's a damn lie, man. You understand me, man? That's a learned behavior, okay? All right? Back in the day, that's what they said it was. They said it was a mental illness, man. Right. You understand me? That's like a damn dog trying to uh, chirp like a damn bird. You would think something wrong with the damn bird. You understand me, man? But guess what? The white man, guess what? He follows everything, you understand? He mocks up everything. The, the Lord said, this, uh, this, listen, we've been, we've been led by a people that's not a people. A nation that's not a people, meaning he's a damn animal, literally. He's a damn animal, literally. If you really check him and you don't have Gillette and shit, right? He'll damn grow hair like damn cousin Ick. Or you'll go out in the damn woods and see you think you saw Bigfoot, okay? But he's the one that's leading our people. You understand me? Look at Donald Trump. Now everybody, every black man saying, you know what, man? Donald Trump out his damn mind, but you wouldn't vote it. You wouldn't vote it though. But now Donald Trump out his damn mind. You want to vote for Barack Obama, and now white people say we're going to vote and put who we want in office. Because we're not following these statute law and commandments, man. And it's all the Lord that he's in office, man. Because the Lord going to bring that man against you. He already have brought him against you. And he going to cause war in the Middle East. You got that for me, man? You got John 2 and 4, 1 John 2 and 4? All right, read that for me, man. Read it for me. Read. First John chapter 2, verse 4. He that saith, I know him. If you say I know God, man, I'm gonna give you a real eye opener, man. You understand me? If you're not back here, if you're not back here warring like these brothers, or if you're not following these statute laws and commandments, then you don't know the most high. Because that's what we do, man. We follow the most high Christ right back here. You understand? Anything the most high say don't like, we don't like. We not in agreement with it. We don't try to be politically correct. We don't give a damn about being politically correct. We care about saving our lives, man. We care about getting on them chariots, man. And guess what, when Christ come, black man gonna have a crown. If you one of these brothers that's over in this school, and guess what, and you going against homosexuality, you going against a, a, a woman that's loud mouth, you going against everything that the Bible say go against, man, then the Most High is delighted with you, man. You understand me, man? The Most High is with you. You understand? Read that. Read it. Read it from the top again. Read. First John chapter two, verse four. He, he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments. Guess what? If you say you know the Most High and don't keep his commandments, what it say he is? He, sluggard, like keepeth not his commandments is a liar. He's a what? A liar. He's a what? A liar. A homosexual is a liar, man. 
He's a liar, man. You understand me, man? And then you got the damn popes. You got all of the popes over in, 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 over in the Vatican talking about they're going to change the Bible to agree with homosexuals. You understand me? Like, you might as well change the Bible to agree with Negroes that's running around here killing each other. You might as well change the Bible where kids and Nick Negro or, or the white man is molesting everybody. Well, he doing that any goddamn way. He molesting every goddamn body. You can't let your kids go to a school. You got to worry about it. You got to keep an eye on them. Put a damn a body camera on your damn kids, okay, when you send them to Esau school. You understand? And he'll figure out a way to take it off of them. You can't wear that because he don't want you to see what's going on inside of school because he's a known pedophile. Okay, right. we're against that too. Okay, we're against all of that. Okay, a lot of kids that, be, that be become homosexuals, a lot of those kids, majority of those kids, have been touched or 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 or, or been molested as a kid. You understand what I'm saying? When you see a grown man and he and he loved another man to run in behind him, that's because he got a mental issue and somebody made and destroyed that, that boy. You understand me? Or if you see a woman that got raped a long time ago, she don't can't stand the sight of a man touching her. Because that's what she see. A man raping her when she was a kid. But the white man pushes that, okay? He pushes that abomination, man. And if you say, yo, that's not true, then you a liar, man. Because guess what? Homosexuality is a learned behavior, okay? It's a learned behavior, okay? All right.